Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to take a minute to thank everyone for their time and for subscribing. This particular story is a doozy and shows a level of entitlement that I haven't seen in a while. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy. My girlfriend, 27 years old, has been unemployed for 3 years. She used to work at a restaurant near to where we live. The restaurant was about 6 to 7 minutes walk away, so she liked this job since it didn't require any commute. Ever since she lost her job, I've been asking her to apply for new ones and try getting one. For about two years, I didn't bring it up because of the current global situation. About two months ago, I asked her to again look for a job because it was really putting a lot of stress on me as the sole breadwinner. I was saving less than $150 a month for our future. She did start looking and after two weeks, I also started helping her with it. I found out that a position of a receptionist was opening up in my company, warehouse department, so I asked her to apply. Since the position just opened up, there weren't any applicants and I talked to the HR manager who's a good friend of mine to give my girlfriend the job. Since there weren't any other applicants at the time, this did not breach my company policy. I still made sure with my boss regarding this and she was fine with it. Girlfriend went into the job and she hates it because it's in a warehouse and she doesn't have any fancy office. I told her to stick around and work her year and she might get promoted and that the pay is better than her previous job. Before she used to make around 30k a year and now it's 42,000 which is a pretty solid jump in my opinion. A week later she told me that she wants to quit because this isn't her thing and my suggestion to her was that she can continue to look for the job she likes and as soon as she finds one, she can quit here. She was clearly upset by having to do this job, so I sit her down on Sunday and she's upset that I didn't get her an office job like mine. 1. There were no vacancies right now. 2. She isn't qualified or has any prior experience with what we do in the office, so it was unlikely she would have gotten it, but I told her that when a vacancy opens up, I'll see what I can do. She mumbles all the time that I want her to do labor-intensive job and like to see her suffer. She mumbles pretty loudly to make sure I hear it. She is responsible for making sure everything delivered to us is correct and counting boxes and supervising staff, putting them into their designated places. After this, she needs to go to accounts and submit a report. Her job does require a lot of walking and standing. After getting tired of hearing this for two to three weeks, I asked her if she wants to quit, she can and I'll pay for everything and then she can look for a job she wants to do. Honestly, this seemed like the only way to make her stop always being mad and saying stuff under her breath. I'm getting the feeling that she doesn't want to go back to work, but I could be wrong. I've tried communicating to her that if I earn a loan, we won't save up anything for the future, and if we have children, we won't have anything saved up for their college and higher education. Nothing I say seems to faze her. What should I do? I sometimes don't even want to be with her, but we've made it work for seven years, and most of it has been pretty good. Any advice? Tell her that she can quit, but you are not paying for her anymore. She's 27. There's not a reason that she can't work, and you're jeopardizing your entire future by supporting another adult. Imagine how long and hard you're going to have to work instead to save, retire, buy a house, etc. because your girlfriend doesn't want to do the thing that billions of us do. Work. If she hates the job, fine. She can find another one, but you need to be firm with her that her free ride is over and she needs to adult. She's now responsible for her own bills, half the rent, etc. And she can have whatever kind of job she wants, so long as she can pay those bills. You've been together seven years, but the last two, you've been the sole support. Is this what you want for the rest of your life? Someone who doesn't work and needs your financial support? Walking, lifting and standing was what she did at the restaurant. And then OP replies, she was a hostess, so just standing. I thought this job was in the same ballpark, but apparently not. A hostess most certainly does not just stand. You're dealing with customers, walking them to the table, helping bus tables, helping clean, checking around the restaurant, sometimes running drinks. Being a hostess is a lot of running around, even if it isn't quite the same as being a server. It isn't about the job you got her being more laborious than what she did before. She doesn't want to do anything. 
Right now you're paying for two people when you really need to save and pay for just yourself. At least then you'll have a savings. What happens if you get hurt and have no savings? Have a medical emergency and have to pay a deductible? What happens if you're in an accident and your car needs repairs? How do you plan to take care of any of this while supporting another adult? It's concerning that your girlfriend would choose to put you back under the stress of being the breadwinner so freely without first looking for another job. That screams of selfishness and a lack of empathy towards you, OP. You have lost the battle already by giving her an out without recourse. I'd consider rescinding the offer or bring up downsizing in order to save money. So what I understand is that she had a job she loved, then got unemployment life for about three years. And when she got a chance to work again, an opportunity that you work to make it happen for her. She doesn't want it because it's not similar to the office job you have, which she's unqualified to do. OP replied, pretty much, I don't know how to get her to understand how not okay this is. Some people that we know have called her names. We cut those people out, obviously, but she can't seem to understand. I broke up with her last week. At the start of the year, she just went in and told the HR manager that she won't be coming in anymore. She didn't even think once about running this through me and give me a heads up so I had some explaining to do but my boss understood the situation and told me to relax because I tried to do a good thing for someone and not appreciating it is not on me. After this when I was breaking up with her, she told me that if I didn't, she'll get back to work as soon as possible and her parents also reassured me that they will also try to get her to go to work and stick to it. Last week, she bought up becoming a stay-at-home mom and us having two to three kids in the next four to five years, and that was pretty much the last straw. We were back at square one. This time, I broke up with her and she moved today. I also told her parents I won't be able to help them anymore and they can return me the money they owe me when they get back off the ground. Right now, I feel horrible, but also a little relieved. Start of 2022, I also started going to therapy because I needed it. Not gonna lie, I was a little offended when someone recommended therapy for me, but it is the way to go. I'm going to stay single for a couple of years and with the money I'll be saving now, I'll do things that I always wanted to do but I couldn't. I always wanted to get a private pilot license, so I'm looking into getting into a flight school with flexible timings and within my budget. I did some quick math and now I would be saving a very good amount of money with her and her family gone. Someone in the last post said that she won't do what I'm doing for her, which I think might be true. But this seems like a good benchmark for me to use it in my future relationships. I appreciate everyone that messaged me and replied to my last post. I think I needed the perspective and to hear the cold, harsh truth from strangers. Thank you guys. Have a great day and I wish you all the best. Cheers. These are also some important comments that OP left. I also told her parents I won't be able to help them anymore and they can return the money that they owe me when they get back off the ground. And somebody asked, wait, you were also supporting her family? And OP replied, yeah, I was helping her family out and now I'm realizing how stupid I was. At least no one can tell me that I didn't try to make it work because I did. I really did everything I could to help her and her family out. If I don't get the money back, I'll consider it a small price to get rid of them and out of my life. So guys, I really hope that you like the story. It just boggles my mind how some people can think that they're so entitled. If you're looking for more updates from Reddit, please subscribe.